Good morning, folks. This is Anthony from Honda Snowblower Enthusiast. Today I'm going to talk about a do-it-yourself off-season project installing an impeller kit to make snow throw farther and never clog again. But first of all, I want to ask you a couple questions. Uh, do you really think you need it? Now, the first thing you should do is to make sure that your RPMs are at top throttle, which is on most Hondas, it's about 3,600 RPMs. And you can do this by getting one of these little uh, small engine tachometers. You just wrap the lead around the spark plug wire and it will tell you what your RPMs are at idle or fast throttle. It should be around 3,600. Uh, I've serviced and tuned up hundreds of Hondas who for some reason, most of them are low, 30, uh, 3,200, 3,300. So if you buck it up to 3,600, uh, you're getting a lot more power. So you want to make sure that you have the proper RPMs first. And then you also want to use some kind of non-stick spray in your chute in your bucket, something like fluid film or snow jet or some kind of non-stick spray. Uh, that will help too to throw the snow. And one other thing you can do is make sure that your auger belt is, is properly adjusted. You can adjust it with this idler wheel here. I've got it clamped down. <clears throat> but on the back side of this idler wheel, there's a, there's a nut that you can loosen and you can move the idler wheel in, in more so you get a better uh, uh, adjustment on your uh, belt. If your belt is engaged and this is too loose, then you can, uh, you can adjust it tighter. So you do those three things first. Uh, uh, the, the, main, uh, the main way of telling if you need an impeller kit is that if your uh, snowblower is, is clogging a lot or just spitting out uh, snow or uh, uh, just, you know, not throwing it very far. Now, a couple of years ago, of you guys that belong to the Honda group on Facebook, I did an experiment with uh, two uh, Honda HS80s. This is my 80. I installed a, uh, an impeller kit. And, and mine, and then there was another 80, kind of like this. This is an 82. It didn't have an impeller kit. So during a storm, I went out and checked them out, and it was just like night and day. It was a real game changer, <coughs> excuse me, to have the impeller kit. I was no longer clogging. Uh, I wasn't throwing snow, you know, uh, Without the without the kit, I was only throwing snow, you know, a couple feet. But with the impeller kit, it was throwing it out of the driver, which what you want. So once you uh, decided you need one, let me show you what you need to get. This is an impeller kit right here for an HSS model, the newer models. You can get this on eBay or Amazon, or you can make your own. It's got all the hardware. It's got the stainless steel hardware and uh, backing plate. <coughs> Excuse me. And here's an uh, impeller kit for an HS model that I made. I make my own because I've done 40 or 50 of these. Uh, but if you're only doing one snowblower, you know, just buy it, you know, get it on Amazon or eBay. It's about 35 bucks, you know. If you want to make your own, if you get a bunch of blowers or you got the materials already, you know, here's some mud flap. Uh, here's some uh, conveyor belt material, which I use because it's got the cord in it. It's going to last longer. I used to use a, a neoprene uh, pad padding. Uh, I think this is a quarter inch thick. But anyways, I used to use this, but it didn't last as long as the conveyor belt material. 
And when you get the kits from Amazon, it's got the corded, it's like conveyor belt material. So it's going to last longer. So if you want to make your own, you can. You can use a, <coughs> excuse me again, a one inch uh, stock and, uh, for backing plate and uh, uh, drill some holes. I, I use this uh, metal. I make my own and uh, drill the holes. But like I said in a minute ago, if you need a lot of them, maybe you can make your own uh, with mud flap or a conveyor belt or something like this. Uh, and it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, here's an impeller. The previous owner, owner uh, installed the kit himself. I think he used neoprene uh, padding. And he used number 10 uh, self-tapping screws. See, you can see the, it closes the gap. Let me show you what this impeller, impeller kit does. It closes the gap. Look at this machine here. It doesn't have the kit on it. Look at the gap. See, and when, you, when you close that gap with the rubber pads, you're essentially making your snowblower into a water pump and it's just folks you know i can you know everybody everybody that has one swears by them it's it's a real game changer it's gonna it's gonna throw the snow farther and it's not going to uh clog so if you want to do this yourself this is just a preview video to show you what you need and the tools like uh, over here is the tools you got your i just showed you the the tachometer for small engines if you want to make sure that your rpms are up because if your rpms are not very up to 3600 or so depending on your model then you're not going to have a lot of throwing power to begin with if it's around 3000 you bump it up to 3600 that's 600 more rpms you got 20% more power, so that that may help. Now, if your if your gap is not very much, I think this gap is about three eighths of an inch because I've measured a lot of these. If it's if it's a quarter inch or less, you might not need the impeller kit. And like I said before, if your snowblower is not clogging and it's throwing the snow okay, then you don't need it. But in, here in the Sierra Nevada in California, we get that uh, <clears throat> Tahoe concrete, you know, and uh, you and most people uh, need one of these. Uh, here's your tools. <coughs> here's a uh, drill with a, a one quarter inch drill bit. Oh, by the way. I'm going to put all the stuff that you need. I'm going to put it in the description. So you can look at the, read the description below the video. <coughs> and I'll, I'll, I'll list everything that you need. Uh, the kits, the material, the size, uh, the tools that you need, um, the stainless steel. Uh, if you want to do it yourself, the the size of the stainless steel nuts and bolts. Uh, you need a wrench and a socket to uh, tighten the bolts up. Or if you want to use self-tapping, number 10 self-tapping screws, you can do that. I used to do that, but I like, I like the stainless steel uh, nuts and bolts. You need a punch. So you can mark your uh, spot on your uh, impeller. Here's a blade that doesn't have the impeller kit on it. You you would mark your, uh, line up your uh, backing plate, punch punch it so you can know where to drill. So you can make a, a very accurate uh, uh, hole. Uh, some cutting oil maybe so you don't uh, wear out your drill bit you can get an extension if you want to do it uh, I usually take the uh, augers and impeller out it's easier for me I used to do it through the chute you can take the chute off and you can use a, 
a 12 inch extension like this. This is a Irwin 12 inch speed bore, 304 millimeter. It's an extension that you can put on a, a impact drill like this, this one here. You see, I've already got it on here with the drill bit. <coughs> or you can use a 12 inch drill bit. You want to use a HSS uh, one quarter inch cobalt uh, drill bit. It's, it's, for, it's for drilling hard surfaces and metal. So that's basically what you need. Uh, I think I covered everything here. I just want to tell you that uh, uh, the next video, next week, we're going to have the actual installation uh, video on how to do this. And uh, we'll see you next week. I also want to update you on the giveaways. Uh, once we get to 250 subscribers, we're going to uh, uh, give away a, a free Honda snowblower service to a lucky uh, subscriber. And then when we get to 400 subscribers, I'm going to have another drawing for uh, an actual uh, installation of an impeller kit. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.